Hey guys, it's the Econ Book here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to advertise on TikTok. This video is going to be for absolute beginners because we are going to create a TikTok for business ad account, install the pixel to track traffic and conversions. We're going to learn how to use the TikTok ads platform and also we're going to create our first app. So let's get started in three, two, one, yeah! Alright, so the first thing that we need is a TikTok for business account and I'm gonna leave the link in the description where you can go directly to this landing page where you can sign up. So here, get your business discovered on TikTok. So you're going to fill up all of this information and you will get access to TikTok for business. And here, as you can see, we have a business center account and also an ads manager, we don't have it yet. So we're going to click on business center and we're going to open the one that we just created. It is very important to have a business center because from here you can add partners, you can add advertiser accounts. This will be the TikTok ads account, okay? You can, we're gonna actually create a new account or you can request access to other accounts, but that's if you have, you know, clients and stuff. We're just gonna create one for this business. And also you can install, you know, your pixels and you can also connect to your TikTok account, all right? To your actual, you know, organic TikTok account. And we're gonna do all of this. Um, first of all, we're going to start by creating an advertiser account. So we're gonna go to advertiser accounts and create a new account. Give it a name and select the time zone. Now the ads account is created. So here we can access to the ads manager directly, okay? And we can even create audiences. We can have partners and we can have linked assets. Right now, we don't need to do that. We just have to go to the ads manager. Now this place right here is where you're going to create your ads. So if we go to the dashboard, we can see how much we have spent today and we can see, you know, the amount of balance that we have, how many active ad groups we have, disapproved, out of budget, etc. And a really nice graph that tells you how many clicks, impressions and sales you have gotten. If we click on the campaign page, here you will be able to see all of your campaigns. And the way TikTok organizes your ad is by having a campaign with a budget. Inside of the campaign, there will be an ad group, okay? With all the targeting and also individual budgeting for each ad group. And inside of each ad group, there will be ads, okay? This will actually be the creatives. But before we create any ads, we have to make sure that we can track our traffic and our conversion. So we have to create a pixel, all right? The easiest way to do this is if you have Shopify. So when you're in the Shopify backend, you just have to click on apps and you're going to search for TikTok. And then you're going to select this one right here. Don't confuse it with these other ones, okay? Just make sure that when you click on it, the developer is TikTok, all right? So right now it has 957 reviews, so look for something that has a lot of reviews. And you're gonna click on add app. By the way, if you don't have Shopify yet, I have a link in the description where you get a free trial and also three months for only $1 per month. So, you know, check it out if you're interested in that. Now, we're going to connect the sales channel by clicking on add sales channel. And it will appear right here under your sales channel. See, you have online store, you have TikTok. If you have other places where you sell, they will also appear here. So we're gonna click on set up now. And now it's going to ask us to connect to our TikTok for business account that we created in the previous step. So we're just gonna click on connect connect to Shopify, yes, and it appears right here, all right? You're just gonna click on connect again, and then it's going to ask you how much information you want to collect from your customers. So I always have it on maximum, just make sure that your privacy policy on the page says that you're collecting all of this information, okay? Just to be legal about it, uh, but you know, I always have it in maximum because it helps getting better tracking of everything that happens, how many clicks, how much conversions, you know, uh, it's it's necessary, really. So just click on confirm and finish setup. The cool thing about having the TikTok sales channel connected to your Shopify is that you can directly sync all of your product information to use on your campaigns, all right? So this is super useful. You can make ads very, very fast. You can even create a campaign and also ads within Shopify. So let's do that really quickly so you can see how it works. So let's click on create campaign. First, we're going to give the activity a name. So Shopify conversions. Now, what is the landing page? So when people click on the ad, where do you want to direct them? You can direct them 
to a single product and you can select a product from the catalog that you have, you can send them to a collection of products or you can send them to your homepage. In this case, we're going to send them directly to the product page because we're going to be advertising something and I always recommend you to send them directly to the product so that they can purchase right away. Remember that people have impulse buys and you have to capitalize on that, right? If you send them to a landing page that has a lot of stuff and then they get distracted or they have too many options, they might not buy. So, you know, always have most of your campaigns directly to the product that they saw the ad for. So let's choose this product right here and click on add. Now we move to the ad creation section. So here is where we will upload our videos, our creatives. So let's click on upload and we're going to drag some of the videos. I'm going to drag uh, this one and also this one. All right, so let's just drag them here and you're gonna wait for a moment. Once that's ready, you're gonna click on upload and we have them right here. So let's just click on here so we can preview it. And look, I uploaded two different ads of two different lengths because advertising is all about testing. And uh, you don't know if people are going to convert with shorter ads or with longer, more detailed ads. Like this one is already over, it's only 15 seconds, but this one, look, it's 25 seconds. This is gonna explain the whole process. They're gonna show how people actually create their DTF transfers and how they buy them, how we print them. You know, you don't know which one is gonna compare better. So have multiples. So when you actually check the results, you can discard the ones that are not performing well and scale or make more of the ones that are actually profitable, right? So the next step will be to create some text for the ads. I like to use a tool called Bullscribe and here we can go to advertising and select TikTok ads. Now here you just have to put your product name and a description of your product. So what I'm gonna do is go to the frequently asked questions, what is DTF? And I'm just gonna copy that and I'm going to paste it right here. Then you're gonna select a tone. So I'm gonna do something probably funny, okay? Because TikTok likes funny stuff. And on the imagination, this is how creative you want the AI to generate the stuff. I'm gonna leave it at 0 0.7 and click on start. Now it's gonna generate five different captions, okay? That you can use on your TikTok ads. For example, this one, have you heard of direct to film transfers? Get creative and customize any fabric with this new technology. And some emojis and a lot of hashtags that you can use. But the emojis and the hashtags, these are if you're going to post your ad as a regular content first and then just advertise it. So if you're going to use this for an organic post, because when you're actually creating ads, it doesn't allow you to do hashtags or emojis. So we're just gonna copy that without the hashtag and without the emojis. We're just gonna copy it right there. Okay, paste it right there. Now for the other one, we're gonna choose another one. Let's choose this one. Create your own fashion statement with direct to film transfers, not just for shirts, customized hats, towels, tote bags, and more. We pasted here and made a few changes just to make it a little bit better. And now the display name is gonna be your company name. So it's gonna be DTF Llama. And then you're gonna add a profile image. There we go, right there. So now let's choose the targeting. So I'm gonna target both male and female. And the ages, I'm going to go ahead and target 18 to 44. For the behavior, we're going to select video related actions a watch to end, like, comment, and share everything, okay? Within the last seven days, and the video category is going to be do-it-yourself and handicrafts, and also uh, art, okay? This is very limiting on the uh, types of options that you have. If you want more control, you have to actually do it with the TikTok Ads Manager, which I will explain how to do it in a little bit. Let's just finish this one. Location, I'm only gonna target United States. And then optimization event. All right, so what do you want to optimize for in here? So I always choose complete payment because what I want is sales. I'm making these ads so that people will buy my products. So the final result that I want is for them to actually complete the payment. Now, there are other events that you might want to optimize for. 
for example, view content. This is just if you are looking for people just to go to your page, you just want them to view the content, you don't really care about selling, you just want brand awareness. Uh, you can also uh, optimize for add to carts or for add payment info, initiate checkout. But all of this, you know, why? Why do you want to optimize for add to cart? You want to optimize for a complete sale. That's what matters, right? Some people use add to cart or initiate checkout because their product is very high value, for example, and it's very hard to actually get a sale but they optimize for add to cart and then they uh, retarget, right? These people that went to the cart with other ads and then those retargeting ads, then they optimize for complete payment. But, you know, in this case, this product is less than $50. Anybody can buy it. So we're just gonna put complete payment. And the budget, let's start with a $20 budget per day. And this test, we're not gonna run it continuously. We're actually going to end it in one week. All right, so the bid strategy. Now here, this is trial and error, okay? I always go for lowest cost first, especially if you don't have any history of how much it costs you to get a conversion. If you know that each conversion normally costs you $20, so you can put a cost cap and then put, okay, I want to not spend more than $20 for every sale that I get, for every complete payment. Or if you're choosing, let's just give you an example, add to cart. So I don't want to spend more than $5 for every person that acts to cart. But this will limit, you know, you are, you are rich because TikTok, if it cannot get to those numbers, it will just stop the ad. So normally let's just put this back to complete payment and let's just use lowest cost. So you're gonna get the most results for your budget. Our system will adjust your bid to get the most results at the lowest cost per result. Once all of that is done, we're going to go up here and click on submit. If you don't have any balance, then it's gonna ask you to add balance. So go to business center and on your TikTok business center, you can just click on add balance and add some coin. All right, so the payment is done. I actually added $200 to the TikTok business center balance, but now we have to add it to the TikTok ads manager. So we're gonna go over here and click on add balance and we're going to put $200, okay? We're gonna transfer everything and click on confirm. Now we're gonna go back to Shopify here and let's attempt to submit this ad one more time. Success, your ad has been created and will be reviewed within 12 hours, perfect. So here, uh, when you go to your Shopify backend and you see on campaigns, you can see here this campaign that we just created. See, Shopify conversions. And if we click on edit activity, we can make changes to what we created. But we're just gonna leave it like that. So let's go back to the TikTok Business Center because now we have to access the Ads Manager account to see everything in more detail and create an actual campaign inside of the Ads Manager. So we're gonna click here on Advertiser Accounts we will have our account here and we're gonna click on Ads Manager. And as you can see, this has already been updated. It says that our account balance is $200 and we have one active ad group. So let's check it out. And this should be the one that we just created inside of Shopify that it gets transferred here. And it's important that you have access to this because you can view the data and you can analyze all of the analytics that it has. So you can you know, duplicate, delete, scale, all of that. Right now there's no data because the ads have not been running yet. But look, what I was telling you about the way TikTok organizes it. So there's a campaign, okay? Inside of the campaign, there's the ad groups, which will be this one that we created with a budget of $20 per day. And in here you can specify a better targeting. For example, you can include audiences, okay? You can include lookalike audiences, or you can even exclude audiences. For example, let's say that you want to target only people that have not purchased, all right? So then you will create an audience of people that have purchased in the past 60 days, and then you will put it right here. You will select it as an excluded audience. So your ads will not show to people that already bought, okay? Uh, that's just one use case that you can have. Then you have a lot more granular selections here. For example, you can target creator interactions, hashtag interactions, okay? and you can enable targeting expansion. 
Now, I, normally when I start advertising any new product, I don't choose anything here. I just put it as an automatic targeting. So I let TikTok decide which audience is going to convert. Sometimes I do select a gender and sometimes I do select an age group because I am pretty sure about the kind of age that have income to buy my product and also the age range of uh, potential buyers. So on the ads group is where you select all of the targeting. Now, if we get one level deeper and we click on the ad group, we can see the ads, okay? These are the creatives. And here you can create more ads or disable some ads, all right? So really quickly, let's create an ad from scratch right here on the TikTok ads manager itself. So we're going to click on campaign here and we're going to create a new campaign. And in here we can choose simplified mode or custom mode. Let's go for custom mode then choose an advertising objective. So we're gonna go for conversions and website conversions. And we're gonna choose smart performance campaign because we're gonna drive better performance with automatic campaign management and smart optimization. For this campaign, I'm gonna let TikTok do almost everything itself because normally TikTok knows what it's doing. Let's just give it a title out of TikTok conversions. Let's click on continue. Now the website that we're gonna promote is gonna be an external website. You can also create a TikTok instant page that will just open inside of the TikTok app, but we're not gonna cover that in this video. Here, we're just gonna choose external website. We have to make sure that we choose our pixel, okay? The pixel that we created. It will automatically appear here. And the optimization event, I'm gonna go for complete payment. We're gonna show our ads in TikTok. We're gonna let users comment. We're gonna let users download the video and also share the video. We're targeting United States, all languages. We're not gonna exclude ages. And we're gonna put a daily budget of $20 again. So we're gonna run this ad for one week. And for the optimization goal, we're gonna choose conversions. Okay, perfect. Create a name, Lithia Flama, we're going to upload the videos. Once it finishes importing, we're going to add some text. You can add up to five different texts and it will combine them to create some uh, better performing options, but I'm just gonna choose that one for now. And then the website, we need the URL, which will be this one right here. Let's go back here and paste it. Always as a good practice, preview it just to make sure that you're not sending visitors to a page that doesn't exist or to a competitor's page. And then for the call to action, you can leave it at dynamic. So it will try different kinds of call to action. So learn more, download. Normally I always go for chop now, but remember I told you that I was gonna let TikTok do almost everything. I wanna see what they can come up with and then I optimize. But for now, let's just leave it in dynamic and the tracking. We don't need to put anything here on impression tracking URL or click tracking URL, okay? The pixel is already going to take care of that. So let's click on submit. All right, so the last thing that you will need to do is connect your TikTok account, your regular account, to your TikTok business center. So let's go back to TikTok business center and click on TikTok accounts. Here, we're going to click on request access. And in here, we're going to select add delivery with existing posts. You can also select add delivery with live videos. And this is useful because if you're doing lives, right, on your TikTok organic account, then you can use TikTok business center to put the products there while you're doing the live so people can click and just buy right there. So let's generate the QR code. You're going to get your phone, open the TikTok app, go to the account that you want to give access to, and you're going to scan that code, all right? And it's going to ask you to give access to the TikTok Business Center account. So you're going to authorize it and account authorize. And now you have your organic TikTok account connected. And I have a collection of videos right here where I show you a lot of strategies for profitable TikTok ads and how to improve your TikTok marketing game. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm out.